Well, within the last hour, we've had uh, the latest uh, new figures from Italy, the current centre of the pandemic. 743 people have died in the last 24 hours. It's the second worst daily figure and comes after two days in which the death rate had fallen. Let's speak to our correspondent in Rome, Mark Lewin. Hello, and uh, Mark, those figures are absolutely huge again. They are absolutely huge. Uh, another rise in deaths, uh, which is, of course, tragic here. Matthew, but uh, what's almost more important, really, uh, albeit um, just as tragic, but what is more important in terms of looking at the trend is uh, the rise in new cases. Now, let's look at the number of people who are currently infected with coronavirus. They, that number has gone up from yesterday to today by 7%. That is the third day in a row that the rise has slowed from day one day to the next. And it suggests that Italy is now in a downward trend of new infections. When you look at the total number of cases, which includes those who are being cured and those who have died, then the rate is roughly the same as yesterday. It's just over 8%. But what we are seeing, I think, is that we are now in a what appears to be a downward trend, a downward, cur a downward uh, a fall, let's say, a downward spiral in terms of new infections, which suggests that the restrictions that Italy has imposed across the country are beginning to work. And despite that big rise in deaths, which of course is tragic and huge, uh, the authorities here are going to place much more importance uh, scientifically and statistically on that infection rate. I suppose the only rider to that, Mark, is whether those official cases actually reflect the number of actual cases. That point has been raised. But in terms of what the authorities can actually do in terms of further restrictions, is there anything more they can put into place? Well, the Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte has just spoken and he has said that he hopes very soon to be able to ease the restrictions. However, he has also said that the fine for violating the rules on movement is increasing from uh, a maximum currently of 206 euros, that's um, about uh, $220, to 3,000 euros, that's about three and a half thousand dollars. So they're being hiked, it's being hiked considerably to try to discourage people from going around. When we were driving around Rome today, uh, on the way back to the office, we were stopped by police, we were pulled over, asked to produce the document that allows you to justify why you are moving. Um, and so, the, you know, the, there are significantly more police checks than there were previously. Um, but, you know, sounding a, a note of optimism from Giuseppe Conte, saying he hopes to be able to ease those restrictions. But, of course, they will only be eased when it is clear that the infection rate has dropped considerably because the Italians, uh, the, the government and the people here are not taking anything for granted. They know that they still have a huge uh, mountain to climb. OK, Mark Lowen, uh, with the latest there from Rome, thanks very much. Thank you.